UtahGunExchange.com, the nation's patriot marketplace. Buy, sell, trade. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see Blade HQ cut all the things. I've partnered with Olight to bring you these videos and a special offer. Stay tuned. Folding Glock. We're at SHOT Show 2018 looking at the full conceal with Mike. Tell us about it, man. Hi there. All right, Shane, I'll tell you some stuff here. So take a look down here. What we have is our M3D for double stack, and it is a 21 round mag, and you can have one safely in the chamber. So I'll go ahead and let's show you here. Let's chamber one and show you the safety here. So in the safety, you can see here the trigger. You, you can't press this trigger no matter where you go until you get to the very end right there. That's where it is. So it pretty much has to be pretty much unfolded to be able to deploy that trigger. So that trigger bar doesn't move. You still have your drop safety and your plunger firing safety that all have to be defeated simultaneously before the gun to fire. Gotcha. So this is 100% safe while it's even folded or partially folded. So here, if I take this magazine, it's in here. I got 22 rounds. And the deployment is very simple. Just like that and you're ready to shoot. That's this about is, as simple as it gets. Yep. And you have, this is self-indexing. Meaning the worst case is that this will self-index in. Worst case, it just drops down and it'll index in. But even if it were to be, let's say, I don't know, halfway here, just pick a spot, and the bullet is almost be, barely being held by those feed lips, it will always index 100% of the time. That's good engineering, man. It's a mag there. Cool. Right there. So I'm gonna inject that here. And so if I were to put this, the implication here, let's say I have one, and I compare this to an iPhone. This is an mm -hmm. iPhone 7 here, an iPhone Plus. And let's get the back here, you get a good idea of the print. Right. Put this in my pocket. That's the footprint I get. Turn around for me, do a little pirouette. That's not bad. And what's nice is it's very comfortable, right? It's not, there's no clip on my, my waist to give away that, you know, I have a gun. Um, I can, you know, sit in my car. I can just sit at a restaurant very comfortably. Um, what's also nice is that if I'm in trouble, let's say three people are approaching me in the parking lot and, uh, you know, I don't know if they're going to their car or they're trying to rob me, but I can put my hands in my pocket and actually have my hands on the gun. And this seems, perf you know, perf pretty natural, right? Yeah, it does. So this would be my deployment. My deployment, since I already have it, is just as simple as that and be able to fire right away. And the gun's fully formed. And you're deploying 22 rounds. Wow. But that's not even the cool part. So the cool part is like this same gun was actually designed to accommodate large capacity magazines and be able to conceal and hide them. So let's go into and chamber around. Let's go here to a Glock 33. This is a Glock 33 round factory mag. Nothing special there. Bring it past the point of the self-index, but you'll see in a second. So this is kind of the footprint that you have from an iPhone. Yeah, okay. Right. So let's do that again. You know, to put that in my pocket. That's the footprint that I have. Right, so I bend my pants up, sitting down at the yeah. table. That's what you're going to get. Right? So my deployment is this. And I'll use John Wick style here. That's my deployment. You can fire one. That's with one hand. That's pretty cool, man. Right. Pretty cool. But of course, I suggest using two hands. And if you were to do it with a two hand deployment, it would look something like this, right? You get any of these, our, our weapons out with two hands in slow motion as you pull it out. This is the motion. You're just pulling it back, indexing it in, and pulling it forward. That would be the two hand motion. Right. Got that right. here? Right. Cool. So uh, that show is, it in pocket again because. That, I wanted to show folks kind of what the print is like. Sure. Let's do it again. I'll, I'll use the big one too because that one really makes a statement. So I'm just making it flush up here. Yeah. So you think here. It's perfectly safe mechanically. So this is the footprint. If I put my pants like that, that's the print. It looks like a rectangle. It looks like some kind of box. It does not look like a gun. Right. Yeah. Right. And so if I deploy it with two hands, in this case, it would be. That's the two-hand two-hand deployment. Mm -hmm. You're ready to shoot there. Nice. Fully fine. And it's the same muscle memory. But here you have the advantage. A couple of advantages would be since you're deploying a high-capacity mag, you have this to help with the muzzle flip. You have that weight there. You also don't have to reload, right? So reloading going from like a small six-shot, single shot, or, or ten, you would have to reload every 10, 6 rounds, you have well, of that course. High capacity, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. obvious there. Um, so we also have, so this is the, uh, the M3D for double stack. We have the M3S. This is available now. We have the S, the single stack version, coming out in spring of 2018. And that's this right here. So just to give you an idea of the footprint. Wow. Got that there. And so instead of a traditional six round magazine capacity, we're gonna double that and give you 12 rounds. So the deployment is gonna end up like this, and you'll have 13 rounds of nine mil. And you also have your pinky grip now too. You have a full, you have a full grip they can grab onto. Okay. So that's another great advantage of there. So 
so this is the modified yes. G43, correct? Yes. This with, is, the, this is the with the with the ETS well, looks like magazine. Yes. This we'll probably have our own magazine here. This is just for the prototype. Okay. So the ETS we had to shave down because you know, uh, for certain okay. reasons it wouldn't fit into here. So okay. We'll, okay. We'll, be, we'll find the mag that will be properly indexable, just like the production M3D. Okay. And okay. Be able to have it working just like that. Okay. Cool. Great. Cool. Uh, for the most part, are standard Glock magazines working fine with it though, or are you finding that you need to shave things down to work? Oh no, absolutely. It's it's any. This is a Magpul mag actually. So the one we include oh, okay. and we ship with is the Magpul 21 round on the M3D. Yeah. Um, you can use any Glock factory mag. I mean, the demonstration I was using for the 33 round was a Glock factory mag. Okay. And we have this in nine and 40. Is that correct? Well, it's the since you can get the low, you can also buy the low receiver by itself. So we also sell just a low receiver. Okay. Just the low receiver, so no slides. And so this low receiver on the Glock 19, uh, you can put a 23 upper, which is a 40 cal, right? Sure. You can do you know, a 357. So you can buy the upper and yeah. put it on. Right, right, right. It's pretty, yeah, I'm good on the caliber. Okay, but you can also buy the full package, and what are we going to pay for the full package? Uh, the MSRP in the full package is $13.99 for this right now. $13.99, okay. And it includes a mag, too. So you're getting a 21 round mag and this entire this pistol here. Okay, I understand. Right. Dude, that's pretty nuts. Awesome. Thanks for the demonstration. Yeah, I love that. That was really cool. Yeah. Welcome. Once again, we're at Full Conceal SHOT Show 2018. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm Matthew with Blade HQ. This is my Burnley Keyhone. And I like to cut bananas.